Now we are stabilized. You could come down here like this and be like, oh yeah. That was weird, that was weird. This is me trying to come up with an intro. I'm making a video about this stabilizer. So this is the, the newer, the newer, I'm not sure how to say it. I think it's newer, the newer Glidecam. I know Glidecam is a company, but I'm not sure exactly what you call this. Besides just a stabilizer, so a Glidecam stabilizer. And I thought I'd do a review and show you guys how to balance a camera on it as well. First, I gotta get this thing unscrewed and it won't unscrew for me. There we go. Ah, gosh. All right, so first of all, with this thing, oh, like, like you just saw, this is bent. I don't know how it got bent, but it's bent somehow. So when you try to push it in, it gets stuck. And if you accidentally hit the bottom of it, like you just saw, it gets stuck. So I don't even think it's real carbon fiber. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're tight. Boom. We're going to balance my 60D on it. Do I need a second light? Is this over here bothering you guys? Is this, oh, is this darkness over here bothering you? It's kind of bothering me. Let me get a second light. There we go. Okay, so this is the 60D is on here. Um, that is something that I wish that was different is, maybe I can get a shot of like how this tripod is, but I wish that there was like a little wing nut here so you could just tighten it with your hand and not a screwdriver. Let's get into balancing it. You wanna start off by holding your camera uh, parallel to the ground or perpendicular to yourself, depending on how you wanna phrase that. Uh, and so you wanna drop it. That dropping should be about three to two to three seconds. So the time that it takes from to, to it to go from here to here should be about three seconds. But right now it's about one, it's about one. So what does that mean? That means that there's too, many, too much weight on the bottom of this, which makes sense because I use this for the 5D and the 60D is heavier than, wait, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that the 5D is heavier than the 6D. So you wanna take some of these weights off. They give you, when you buy this, they give you six weights in total. They give you two 210 gram weights and then four 100 gram weights. I'm gonna put on 400 grams, see where we get with that. I'm pretty sure that should be about right because I've done this before. Oops, oh no. Okay, so let's give this a try again. I'm gonna hold it like this. And we're going to drop it. One, two, that's a little bit better, right? It's close to three, I'd say like two and, two and a half. If we wanted to slow it down more, we would use, a, there's a set screw in here. You would use this to then slide the handle down. Okay, but as you can see, when we hold it, that it's not straight, that it's way, it's way too far back. The camera's way too far back because it's, because it's leaning, it's leaning this way. So, you want to loosen up these screw, this, uh, this thumb screw, that's what I'm trying to say thumb screw on the side. I, I'm just assuming that this thing is finding my face and focusing. My monitor's over here. I really should have it closer. So we're gonna slide this pretty drastically forward and just see how that, let's see how that looks. Uh, not too bad. I mean, like, we're, we're, like <laughs> if we do that, you can see that's a little too far forward. So we're gonna slide it a teeny bit back, that. All right, I wish that there was some kind of a screw system so like, Maybe you unclamp it and then you use this and as you turn it, it slowly chinks it forward or chinks it back. So you don't have to unscrew it, slightly move it, then sink it down again. Also, that's something that was annoying when I was shooting with it this weekend, is that these things loosen up. These, not so much the, uh, the, the screws, the, the thumb screws, but the plates move because they aren't, I don't know, it's like they aren't seated against the tracks very well. So what I found to, you should do, you can do, is you can get these little foam strips. I can have them linked in the description below. Are we still recording over here? I can have them linked in the description below. These little foam strips that you can put on here that shortens up the gap and helps it to grip better. I think that that is very necessary because you don't wanna be shooting for, for an hour and then the whole, your whole setup changes, which is annoying. We have that drop time set. We have it, so it is leaning, it's still leaning back. See, it even moved in my little, 
my little description. Okay, there we go. So, the thing about with these, with, with glide cams, is that they change very quickly. I'm setting this up for, like, with the, with the monitor in, it's not, it's not flipped out to the side, and with it locked at 18 millimeters. So, you'll see, if I go like that, and if I take the, the screen out, it throws everything off, if you can, if you can see that. So keep that in mind when you're using a zoom lens, your balance is gonna get off, which didn't, I didn't find that that hindering. I just consciously made an, made an effort to keep the camera up when I was messing around with the, with the zooming feature. All right, so let's get back to balancing. The next thing we have to do is like side to side. You can see that it's kind of leaning over to one side. Hopefully you guys can see that. So you can just do the same thing as if with this thumb screw on the back, slide it to the right a little bit clamp that sucker down and let's see what we got this might take a while you'll get you'll get faster at it i can say that because the first time i did this it took me uh, an hour and a half to balance it you can see that we we're not going like that anymore we're pretty up we're pretty straight up and down we go like that and it is straight up and down pretty much there now we are stabilized Boom, 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 <laughs> boom. Anyway, so yeah, hopefully I was able to kill two birds with one stone. It's funny how light this is compared to using the 5D. So yeah, I guess that's it. That's it, well, that's my thoughts of the newer stabilizer. Thank you guys for watching. I guess that's it, that's it, that's pretty much it. That's basically it, that's pretty much, that's basically what it comes down to, boiling it down. Bada bing, bada boom, here we go. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week and Boom. I don't have an outro. I don't have an outro. So it's just gonna be. This baby pull me closer on the backseat of your road. We never can alone.